In this problem, we're told you throw a ball straight up with an initial velocity of 15 meters per second. It passes a tree branch on the way up at a height of 7 meters. How much additional time will pass before the ball passes the tree branch on its way back down? Right, so always what you want to do is draw what's going on. So you have this ball, initial velocity is going to be 15 meters per second. Right, so it's going to be thrown up 15 meters per second, and it's going to go up 7 meters, and at that point, it's going to pass by this tree branch, right? And so what's going to happen is, it's going to go all the way up, right? It's going to reach the maximum point, and it's going to fall back down, okay? And what we're trying to do is find how much additional time before the ball goes, right? So basically, we're trying to find the time for the ball to go up like this and then back down. So basically, the time it's spent above this place, right? So that's what we're trying to find. And so the way we're going to do this is by splitting the problem into two parts. So the first part, what we want to do is find the velocity here. So I'm just going to call it V sub zero. Actually, I'll just say V. So what we want to do is find the velocity here. Because if we have the velocity here, what we can do is set up a, a kinematic equation, right? And we're going to be able to solve for the time it would take it to go like this. Okay, so that's basically how we're going to do it. So just follow along and you'll see how it works. But the first thing we want to do is find the velocity here. So how do we do that? So let's just write down the given for this kinematic interval. So we know the initial velocity is 15 meters per second, right? And it's positive because it's upwards. We know the acceleration is minus 9.8 meters per second squared, right? The acceleration due to gravity, and it's negative because it's going down. We also know the change in the y throughout this interval from here to here is 7 meters, right? So we know all that, and what we want to do is find the final velocity v, right? So I'm going to say v equals question mark because that's what we're solving for. So what we want to do is find v, right, the velocity at the end of this. And so if you look at our equations, we have v sub 0, we have a, and we have delta y. So I think the best equation is to use this one, v squared equals uh, v sub 0 squared plus 2a times delta y, right? So it's delta x, but there uh, you can just use whatever one you want. So uh, it's basically v is going to be equal to the square root of these variables, right? So v sub 0 is 15 plus 2 times a, which is minus 9.8, times delta y. And so delta y is just 7. So plug this in, right? So you just want to do uh, the square root of 15 squared, right? And then plus 2 times minus 9.8 times... Uh, 7. And so when you do this, you're going to get V equals 9.37 meters per second, right? So this is going to be the velocity right here. And so now that we've got this, what we're going to do is do another kinematic problem, but with a different interval. So for this one, right, we're going to start here and we're going to go all the way up, right? And so basically there's something you need, about, uh, need, about, uh, you need to know about kinematics, right? Basically when you throw something up, right? So imagine it's here, right? When you, the amount of time it takes it to reach its top is the same amount of time it would take it to fall back down to the same height. So what we're going to do is find the time it'll take it to go from here, right, this spot, all the way up to here. And if we can find that time, we just have to multiply by 2 because that's going to be how long it takes it to fall back down here. So hopefully you understand that. But basically, we want to solve another kinematic equation to start here to go up here. So let's go ahead and do that. So what do we know about this one? We know the velocity, right, the initial velocity, which starts here, right, because we just solved for that. It's 9.37 meters per second, okay? So we know that. We know acceleration, right? That doesn't change, still minus 9.8. And then what we also know is the amount, or when something reaches its top, right? This point, its, its velocity is zero. So that means at the end of this interval, its velocity is zero meters per second. Because when something reaches its peak, for that instant moment, its velocity is zero. So we know V sub zero, we know A, and we know V. So what we want to find is, uh, right? We're going to head and solve for uh, T right? So we want to know what t is. And so we have v sub 0, we have a, and we have v. And so if you look at the equations we want to use, notice all of them, uh, these three all contain delta, right? So a change in position. But this one, v equals v sub 0 plus a times t, we can use. So the equation we're going to use is v equals v sub 0 plus a times t. And all we have to do is just plug in. So v is 0, which equals v sub 0, which is 9.37, uh, plus a, a is minus 9.8, right? And then multiply by t. So we're going to minus 9.37 from both sides, right? Because we're solving for t. So minus 9.37 equals minus 9.8t. Divide by minus 9.8. And when you do that, you're going to get, right, these are minus signs are going to cancel. You'll get t equals 9.37 divided by 9.8 is 0.956 and so on. So 0.956 in its seconds. So keep in mind what we just solved for. We solved for the time to go here to here. But what I said earlier is the time from right up all the way up is the same as the time for it to go down like this meaning all we got to do is multiply by two and that's going to give us uh the time right the time for the thing we're actually solving for how much time it takes us to go all the way right so 0.956 times two 
uh, is going to give you, or t is going to be equal to 1.912, right? And this is going to be seconds. Uh, you might get a little bit of a uh, different value if you use a more exact, right? Because I rounded here. But yeah, it's basically going to be equal to about 1.9, right? So 1.9 seconds. Just make sure you round how your teacher wants you to. So it's going to be equal to about 1.9 seconds. Uh, so yeah, 1.9 seconds. Uh, this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.